Well, hello YouTube, it's your girl Jeanne coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about 10 fragrances that I picked for myself to describe myself. So if you guys are interested in seeing 10 fragrances that I chose, then go ahead and just keep on watching. <laughs> So first things first, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Jane again, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly appreciate you guys' support. And thank you all to the new subscribers. I do see you all and I appreciate you guys for hitting that subscribe button down below. And I actually decided to make this video because I put a poll on my community tab for you guys to choose what you all wanted to see next. So if you subscribe, you can see what I put up on my polls to see what you all wanna see next. And if you guys have any requests you can leave them for me I did record my top 10 designer fragrances for life so those are like my favorites of all time currently in my collection but these fragrances that I'm talking about are ones that I do love but I kind of wear them when I'm in a mood or like I need a vibe so I have five moods or vibes and two fragrances for each category and this is a mix of designer and niche so You'll have your designer and you'll have your niche depending on what you guys like and what your pockets like. So the first category that I'm going to start off with is me wanting to feel fresh and clean and feminine. So these two fragrances are ones that I really, really like to wear when I wanna feel fresh and feminine and kind of effortless. And when I say clean, I don't mean like soapy or musky. I mean like, you know, like fruity clean if that makes sense. So the first fragrance I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Zest. See if I like this one, and I really like this one a lot. This one focuses more on the lemon, of course, it's called Italian Zest. So this focuses more on the lemon portion of it. This also has a very sugary sweetness to me, but this is mainly citrus aromatic and it's also woody but on my skin i get kind of like a sweet lemon but this also has green apple in it which the original has but for some reason i just feel like this fragrance is a lot more sweet and takara here on youtube she describes this as kind of like a sweet lemon sorbet and i completely agree with her with that because this is like sweet but it's like refreshing at the same time i really like this and this is a fragrance i love to layer so if you guys are interested in seeing my layering video go ahead and let me know down below because i like to layer this with a few fragrances that i have so this is really really nice you guys this is light blue italian zest and i really like this to smell fresh and clean and like citrus fruity it's very very nice it doesn't last that long but it's an eau de toilette concentration, I don't really mind. So this next fragrance is one that I have not really worn majority of the summer and I kind of feel bad because I really do like this scent. And this is Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. And y'all, this is bomb. Absolutely beautiful. This is just a fruity floral. It's fresh, it's slightly woody. It's really, really nice. If you really don't like the lemon and light blue Italian zest, try this out if you haven't already because this has pomegranate, raspberry. It's very, very fruity. It's very sweet on the fruity side, but it also has this freshness and like some musk in it as well. It's absolutely beautiful. So this has raspberry. It also has some peony, which gives it that floral touch. It kind of also gives it a aquatic like watery type of vibe this isn't as watery or aquatic as the dolce and gabbana lime patrice toi but this is very very beautiful the fruity notes definitely stand out so that pomegranate and raspberry definitely stand out but you also get that fresh peony and to me personally the peony isn't like too green or too fresh of a floral but it does help uplift this fragrance and i really like this one so this is versace bright crystal absolute and this is a very nice fruity floral that's sweet but fresh it's very nice and i don't think anyone can go wrong with this one so absolutely stunning in the bottle bomb the bottle's bomb next we are going to go into like my tropical free fragrances so i really enjoy feeling like I'm on vacation, especially since I live here in the South and we're quarantined. But tropical fragrances are actually one of my favorite 
fruity categories and these two fragrances have one of my favorite fruity notes in them so I enjoy pear I like raspberry I like black currant but this note definitely takes the cake so the first fragrance is one that i have mentioned on my channel before i have mentioned the versace as well but i couldn't talk about tropical fragrances without talking about this and i hope you guys know what it is i really do but this is valhem perfumery's mango skin and i'm not gonna harp hard on this because i do have a dedicated review on this fragrance and i'll link that up in eye in the sky so you guys can check it out but y'all first of all this fragrance i don't know if you guys can tell but I've used so much of this scent and I really need to stop. Ashley likes to wear this as well. So uh, I had to kind of hide it from her because she was starting to use a lot of it. And this fragrance is not cheap. But this has a very prominent mango note. It does not smell like the skin of a mango. It doesn't smell like that Zerjoff fragrance. I think it's called Sir 2. I, I'm gonna leave a picture up on the screen but this scent is the most realistic ripe juicy mango. It's sweet. This is sweet. If you do not like sweet fragrances, if you do not like mango, run away from this because this is literally that this also has a note of pink sugar it also has jasmine patchouli but this has a very clean and refined patchouli it's not that earthy patchouli that i absolutely love Whew. this isn't that but i love this scent so freaking much and this is definitely in my top niche fragrances for life because it's it blows my socks off like blows my socks off the mango in this is just, like I said, just a very realistic, juicy, beautiful mango. And there's nothing really creamy about this at all, like the Zerjoff one. And I'm going to talk about another fragrance that's like a creaminess. But no, this is just your real up-in-your-face fruit. Like, I feel like they really captivated the essence of a mango and just put this in a bottle. Like, it literally smells like they squeezed a fresh mango, added some sugar to it, a little bit of floralness, and uh, called it a day. So, this is beautiful. This lasts forever on the skin. You guys, check it out if you have not already. Please get a sample and really try this because it's stunning. Stunning. I'm done. I'm done talking about it. This next fragrance is not cheap, so don't kill me, but it's good, y'all. It's so good. It's one of my favorite tropical fragrances, and this is Keep Glazed by the House of Oud, y'all. This scent is literally... It's intoxicating. It's so intoxicating. And this is very versatile. I wouldn't say, you know, limit this to the summertime. You can wear whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. I would wear this spring, fall, summer. I wouldn't really wear this in the winter unless I really wanted that fruity mango kick. But this is a lactonic mango. This is a very milky, creamy, sweet mango fragrance. Like, y'all. Let me not get worked up because y'all my hair straight in and I don't want it to poof up. But this has whipped cream. This has mango, coconuts. If you're looking for like a creamy coconut with some mango, this, this is your, man, I'm trying to tell you. Coconut, like the meat of the coconut. It's so nice. It really gives this fragrance that tropical feel. The only thing I dislike about this fragrance is I don't feel comfortable traveling with this because this is a piece of art. So I will have to buy the travel sizes, which are very expensive as well. This is a very expensive fragrance, but it's worth it. I honestly believe that if you really enjoy lactonic fragrances, milky fragrances, coconut fragrances, mango fragrances, sweet fragrances, you would really, really like this fragrance. And if you like bottles, like if you enjoy bottles and packaging and presentation, like being superior. So this isn't a review on the house, but this is a very pretty scent. And this is like my tropical baby along with mango skin. So the next category for myself that I typically, you know, like to gravitate towards sometimes, it's like my little persona. That's basically what these moods are, like my personas. But I like to dress kind of like a tomboy. I'm not necessarily able to dress up all the time and I really like to be comfortable. So I have boyfriend jeans, I have mom jeans, you know, I have my slightly tomboyish ways. I call these my tomboy fragrances because I definitely think that this fits for 
any person. It doesn't matter if you're male, female, whatever you identify as. And the first fragrance that I'm going to talk about is one that really, really takes the cake when it comes to me feeling tomboyish but still feminine at the same time. But this is definitely a unisex fragrance. I don't think that this is leaning more towards feminine. I think it's straight down in the middle. And this is by The Gate Fragrances and this is called Memories. You guys, this scent is very tobacco heavy but like a sweet pipe tobacco it's so good and it has that honey that's right along with it this also has a cherry note oh, it's so good this lasts for ages so one thing that i really like about this bottle is that when you look at it at first glance it looks opaque but if you look closely you can see the liquid like jiggling around in there and the packaging is just beautiful that it comes in so i really like this fragrance i want to try out more from this house i do have another fragrance from this house and i talked about it in my final summer haul and i really am liking this house so so much and it's so underrated people don't talk about this but again this has like tobacco this has honey this has cherry it's beautiful i don't think it's too sweet but it's like a pipe tobacco sweet i feel like I just left like a hookah bar after I spray this on myself, but in a really good way. This isn't like a hookah bar that stinks or you smell like ashes or anything like that. It's like good quality tobacco. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is Memories by Begate Fragrances and it's so beautiful. It's a nice tomboy scent for me. You guys, oh my gosh, this fragrance that I'm about to talk to you guys about literally was my first oud fragrance because i've been so scared of oud and i love it so much this is moola moola by byron parfums you guys this fragrance makes me so happy this has caramel saffron oud peach like can i keep going it's so good it's sweet it's balsamic it's woody it's juicy fruity it's so good like I think that this also would smell fantastic on a man but this smells so good on me like it smells so good I'm not even here to toot my own horn but like toot toot like <laughs> this is a really good fragrance and I do want to check out more from this house this fragrance literally will take your breath away I love to wear this on my tomboy days you only need a little bit of this scent, so a little bit goes a very long way. This is an Extrait de Parfum, so if you want a very delicious, long-lasting fragrance, this is your baby right here. I'm not saying all Extrait de Parfums like, are long-lasting, but this one is, so this one's really good. I really like it, and it does give you that like oily residue on your skin um, because of how heavily oily it is but it smells so good and it lasts forever on your skin and even longer on your clothes like definitely one of my beast mode fragrances yeah i love this so much and if you guys like oud or even if you don't like oud i think this is a great beginner's oud this isn't too heavy of an oud which i really really like this was really nice to introduce me into the whole lifestyle of the oud life but this also is very very nice for those who like sweet scents those who like fruity scents this is really nice for you as well i also love that saffron because it kind of gives it a dryness like a dry spiciness and ugh, it's so beautiful so this is moola moola by byron parfums and this is my second tomboy scent so my next mood or category is my mom scent. I think these next two fragrances really showcase who I am as a mom. It showcases my spunk, but my sensuality, but it also shows a little bit of seriousness as well, which I do like. Um, these two fragrances are ones that I really, 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 really like to wear, and they really just I feel ground me in a way these are really good easy reaches for me so me being a mom me trying not to think too much these are two fragrances that I can just wear with any outfit and feel absolutely beautiful so the first fragrance I'm going to talk to you guys about is Miss Dior absolutely blooming now first of all this isn't the blooming bouquet and this isn't the original eau de parfum this is the absolutely blooming this is literally a sweet 
fruity floral. If you guys didn't know, I do like fruity florals. I like sweet florals. That's who I am. I'm not a straight up floral type of woman. Not whatsoever. I do have like a couple, but that's not my style. Unfortunately, I haven't been wearing her often because I do have other fragrances that I've been reaching for, but since I've been in school, this fragrance has been my go-to. This actually is my scent of the day. Let's go ahead and spray her. So the main notes in this fragrance that I get are raspberry, black currant, and rose. Very fruity, very sweet. It has that rose in the background, but she doesn't come out to play too crazy. And on my skin, when it starts to dry down, I do get kind of a muskiness from this fragrance. I think there's musk in this fragrance, but I'm not 100% sure, y'all. This is a very feminine fragrance. If you want a signature scent, I definitely think that this is signature scent worthy because to me, you can wear this with anything, any time of the year. I also think that this is like low-key sexy so if you want a fragrance that is like a one and done you can pretty much do anything with i say get your hands on this if you enjoy fruity florals and if you like a little bit of musk you know in the background as well so musk is an accord that kind of scares me because sometimes it can get really really mature on my skin and that's not what i like in a fragrance so the musk in here is very clean and it makes me feel fresh but it doesn't really smell powdery on my skin it just smells like my skin but better it's really hard to explain but the fruity notes and the rose really really help ground that musk and really make it feminine and just beautiful so i really like this scent and the sillage and projection on this baby is stupid great it's like amazing so i really really like this scent this is a very mom-like scent to me but to me it's very sensual still sexy flirty and i do think that this scent is definitely one that can be a little bit serious as well when she dries down not at first blast because she's so fruity but when she dries down then you know she starts mellowing out with your skin and you smell really good, but you also smell like you're not a child. So I like this scent and this is Miss Dior's Absolutely Blooming. This next scent is one that you already should expect to come. This is my favorite designer scent of all time. And if you did not know, now you know, but this is Chloe Nomad. I love, love, love this scent. I can't speak more about this because I talk about this all the time. This is just the original Eau de Parfum. They do have other flankers like an Eau de Toilette. They also have the Absolute version. So I do want to kind of try that out. I remember smelling it in the store and not liking it. I don't remember why I didn't like it. Probably because I like this one more. But I do want to get my hands on it just to see what it's talking about because people have said that it's sweeter than this one. And this fragrance is not sweet at all to me. <laughs> I mean, you can say it's sweet a little bit there's like a Mary Bell plum note but I really don't even pay attention to that because mainly you get citrus on the first blast so when you first spray it you get a lot of citrus but you also get an oak moss note and oak moss is a very like green earthy type of scent this also has sandalwood and some musk but mainly I get patchouli oak moss some citrus and a little bit of sweetness and I'm assuming it's from that Mary Bell Plum. This scent to me is like a younger mom, like you're in your mid 20s to your early 30s and this is just very beautiful. It's versatile. To me, this is more sophisticated. This isn't a very casual scent, but I like it to be casual. It just depends on who you are and your personality, but this was my signature scent all last year. So this reminds me of my pregnancy and just becoming a mother and all that good stuff. So this will always be in my collection. One, because I love the scent, but also it's very nostalgic for me and it has a lot of great scent memories. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk y'all heads off about this because I love it and I can talk about this all day. <sighs> all right, y'all, so my daughter woke up from her nap and her other mommy's not here. So she's joined us, but she's out of the frame so you can't see her. You might hear her, but we're at the last two, so it doesn't really matter. But these last two fragrances are going to be my sensual scents. So these are like my sensual, sexy, seductive scents that make me feel very, very confident because as I said earlier, I'm a new mom and it's really hard to find that time to have that self-care. And since, you know, my body has changed and things are different in my life, I have a 
different outlook on like my appearance and things like that so fragrance really helps me kind of feel a little bit more normal or elevate how I feel so these two fragrances are very very beautiful scents that I really really like and I think they make me feel so sexy and so beautiful and the first scent that I'm going to talk to you guys about is John Paul Gaultier Scandal by Night y'all this scent is absolutely beautiful and I have a few tuberose scents and I'm kind of eyeing tuberose like okay are you gonna be the next rose for me because uh, the tuberose scents that I have are really really good this has tuberose honey patchouli some sandalwood some citrus and this also has some tonka bean mm, it's really really pretty you guys I'm trying to tell you it's very sweet it's sensual it's sexy but it also has like that woodiness from the sandalwood it's really really nice I really do enjoy this scent the honey is very very prominent but I also really get the tuberose in this as well so I would say that this is like white floral but it's so nice and I never thought that I would enjoy tuberose in a fragrance but this really works for me and I really really like this scent it lasts forever on my skin this isn't quite beast mode to me, but it's really really nice, especially since I overspray. You don't have to overspray this, but I really like how intoxicating this scent is. Oh my god, the honey is so nice. It kind of makes my mouth water. It's so good. It's so good. So I told my girls I need to get some legs, and I'm glad I got these legs, the scandals, because this did not disappoint me whatsoever so the final fragrance for you guys today is one that my girl anna absolute put me on y'all i'm trying to tell you she knows what she's talking about this is serendipitous by serendipity 3 this is a niche house but this fragrance was like 45 dollars like no lie now one thing i will say that really kind of disappointed me in this house was that the shipping took forever but I'm not gonna be too harsh because I did order this right when COVID hit. Like, I believe I ordered this like March 10th and the United States got shut down on like the 13th or 14th of March. So this did take about four and a half, five weeks to get to me, but y'all, it was $45. So I'm not really tripping and it smells so good. Ugh. On Fragrantica, there's only three notes listed and let me double check what they are yeah it's vanilla bitter orange and cacao but to me to me personally this smells like thick caramel syrup like caramel syrup you will put on top of like a sundae or something of that nature or put it in like your coffee it's just so good it's so good i can't it's so sweet this is literally the sweetest fragrance that I own. And that's like no lie. Like this is literally the sweetest scent in my collection. Nothing touches this. And if I want something to be sweeter, I'll add this or my Sweet Vanilla by Montal, depending on what the scent is like. But this literally is just sugary, sugary diabetes. If you have diabetes, don't smell this because it might spike your blood sugar, I swear. This is so sweet. It's so good. If you love sweet gourmand scents, you need this. You need this scent. I Like, you need it. And if you don't have it, you need to get it. It's $45. You order it. I'm going to have their website linked down below because you only can get this from their website. And this scent doesn't last very long. I say I get about five hours of wear on its own but when i layer this it lasts so much longer so i really like this scent to layer and this is a very very sweet scent but it makes me feel so sexy so seductive and edible which when i want to smell sexy i want to smell edible but gourmands are amazing to me they smell so good okay i'm done sniffing this but this is serendipitous by serendipity 3 and this is my sexy scent i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i had so much fun figuring out different fragrances i have in my collection that make me feel different ways and that describe me in different ways i would love to see you guys do this video so if you enjoy doing videos or if you want to leave me some of your fragrances that get you in certain moods then go ahead and leave them down below for me because i would love 
love to see what you guys have to say so i quiz you guys at the end of every video and today's video i want you guys to leave me a crown leave me a crown emoji down below if you do not have the emoji just put an asterisk crown because i know sometimes you guys watch me on your laptop or your tvs so i hope you guys like today's video i had so much fun so much fun making this video and i love you all so so much and i will see you all in the next one